Okay. Okay. Cool. Perfect. I'm gonna adjust them. Okay, how's that? Yeah. Better? Yeah, I like that. Cool. All right. So we're going to have old Jason Lucky. We got Luigi versus Yoshi. Now, Lucky, this is his first level up, actually. Is he, it his first? He's gone to the ladder events as well as the monthlies, but this is his first level up. Tournament. It is really hard for some people to make it on, like, weeknights. Yeah, like this. It is difficult, but it's good to have him. It looks like he's whipping out his Luigi. He plays a few different characters, but Luigi seems to be his main in singles anyway. And he's been working on his combo game a lot. I know he was excited to try to pull off the poke combo, trying to just Ooh. get like 60% in one go, which For is sure. gross, but Luigi needs something, I guess. Right. Obers is if there's one thing that really uh, makes me scared in this game, it's Luigi's combo potential. As someone who plays floaties because I hate getting comboed, it's super real. But Yoshi's Nair does have the ability to interrupt a lot of those if he's not True. perfect. Because that frame 3 disjoint is ridiculous. Also, Old Jace is very generous with his egg usage, which is going to keep Luigi out in a sense. It's going to kind of create a bit of a wall. It's going to be hard for Luigi to go in. But he's got to be careful uh, that Lucky won't run under an up smash from there like he did to punish it. And Luigi has the most slide of any character in the game. So if he doesn't right. perfect shield those eggs, essentially he's reset even further back to right. the game. Right. Ooh, that was a beautiful punish on that downbeat. Yeah, Old Jace has to be a bit more conservative, chugging that uh, coffee, soda, whatever it is. Caffeine drink. That, that, uh, that Yoshi juice. Power juice. Mm -hmm. Power juice. Don't, oh! Oh, oh no. Oh. I don't think he can Yeah, kill. he was thinking if he could uh, set anything up, yeah. but no. I was just going to comment on how much Lucky's perfect shielded, but if he messes up on something like that, it's, it's bad. For sure. That being said, like you saw, has a sizable lead. He's at yeah. low percent. On, it, or no, he's got Old Jace already to 45. It was good damage by Old Jace, but he just can't find a way to run away with it. And the falling there to up air to back air was like 30% for Luigi. Ooh. Old Jace is just having trouble dealing with this damage output. I think Old Jace's main problem right now is that he's fishing a little too much for certain options. Ooh, great recovery by that, Old Jace. That was beautiful, using the super armor on that double jump to ensure that he'd make it to the ledge. And then coming out to the side and egging back so he couldn't get gimped by the upbeat too. It was just right. really good. Ooh. Ooh, Jesus! Yeah. The shield pressure at the end there on the platform. Beautiful stuff by Lucky not giving up that and whenever good you, position. Yeah, whenever you can pick a multi-hit option that people aren't going to expect, such a good option. Oh yeah, multi-hits are very stressful to deal with when you're ready for them. Yeah. Harder when it's coming out of a combo that you aren't expecting. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I love the way Lucky uses down B. It's very creative. Usually I'm used to seeing Luigi's attempt to use it as a gimp or um, an off the top kill. That was a really smart usage of it uh, just for the sake of pressure. All right, so we're going to see a switch. Old Jace has been working on his corn recently. Um, talked to me about it a little bit. Really likes the character, and Corrin's a dynamic character, has a lot to offer. Um, I think Corrin is incredibly good. And he gets more range as Corrin. Essentially, exactly. needing to have a similar get in range as Yoshi allowed for all those combos to happen a little more than I think right. he wanted to. For sure, it's going to be a bit riskier for Luigi to go for certain things, but wow, Lucky is on top of this combo game. Even reads that double jump there. Gets, gets Old Jace up to the 70s. And something else that could come into play now is Corin's recovery is more interceptable than Yoshi's. So this down B Gimp, if Lucky can match, is a more real possibility than it was against Yoshi. Right. And right there, that's the range you're talking about. It's fighting through the fireballs and Luigi's attempts at neutral. And this is already going a lot better for Old Jace. This was a good switch. For sure. And you'll see Old Jace recovering high repeatedly yep. there. That is a smart move because Against he knows Luigi, yeah. Yeah, there's a chance that otherwise he just loses the stock for free. Even though Corrin's FP has an incredible hitbox against Luigi, it's always smart. And I mean, that down to great. Beautiful even. down air. Yep, oh. Smash will take it. Wasn't yeah. even a reverse up smash because Luigi slides so far. Old Jace has to be careful about um, these landing options. He's been getting caught on landing quite a bit. That was a great down smash though. Held the charge. Good read. 
and Lycanus is playing very patient. He's waiting mostly for Old Jace to do something and then reacting to it specific normally with a grab. Now that was a little telegraphed. Not taking the stock yet, but Corrin's ledge pressure is ridiculous. It is. Like there, right? That beautiful spacing by Old Jace catching the get up. And that run back to the insta pin covered all options but essentially right. jump and ledge drop. Now the big thing here for Old Jace is understanding that Korn has more options to win the neutral. So he's going to want to take advantage of this state. And after losing the stock relatively early, Ooh. Old Jace is actually in a pretty good position. Wow, I'm loving uh, Lucky's footsie game here. Always staying out of Old Jace's effective range for the second stock. It's really smart. And then waiting for his window of opportunity to go in for a grab. And Lucky's use of his Ooh, space behind that, him is so yes. good. His dashbacks are always at great yep. times. Yep. He knows how to play the length of the stage. Understanding that while Korn has the range, he can mix up his mobility in a way to overwhelm her. Does Ooh. not get the free patch yep. combo. <laughs> Unfortunately, LJs was ready for that with an air dodge. And Lucky's really just Ooh. dancing around LJs. Ooh. And that Tipper was, forward smash is so scary. Yeah, that was a meaty forward smash. Old Jace is definitely still in this, and counter is always an option as well. And now, I mean, this is effectively the percent where Korn would normally be killing Luigi anyway. Right. Oh, I don't know. That should do it. Yep. That was yeah. such a smart single jab. It that, was. Even if he had dropped a little bit, the 50 frame window, which, which cannot re-grab the ledge after being hit. It was going to be rough for Korn to get back. Right. It also kind of caused a panic option for Old Jace. I think because he was getting hit, uh, he wanted to jump there. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be something. Cause I think he thought he was going to be hit farther than a single jab, and that's why he upbeat right into Luigi's up smash. 